Hey y'all, this is Solomon Rambling, and we are doing our second chapter, or I guess first, whatever it is, of Angels of Death. I finished my first video, and let's get to the second. Let's progress this story. So, I've given it a look-see, and my first video is okay. There's just me flailing about trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. So, this is going to be more of the same. I'm going to try to multitask by talking while everything else is going on screen, but I'm not very good at talking and reading. Uh, this is getting suspect, though. See? That's the first sign that this is a bad relationship, kids. No. That's, I'm sorry. I forget that I have to open my inventory, because this game doesn't make it clear that I have to do it so far right now. Anyway, whatever. See, now this is where, I know he's evil. This is just case in point. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Okay, so what's going to happen? I'm going to get all the way back there. He's going to become evil, and I have to use this entire way to figure out what's going on. Uh, something good for both of us. Let's do it. Okay, I don't like this mechanic of this game, is that it doesn't let you explore the other parts until you go forward and reach a roadblock. That's pretty common in these point-and-click games, that you have to figure out how to pass an obstacle by collecting random things on the floor. But why do I have to get the obstacle first? Yeah, whatever. For being here, you must possess no such essence. However, every wish has its price. Just don't break the rules. All these cryptic messages think they're smarter than they actually are. Very good. Yeah, very astute observation. And I don't like that it's explaining everything that we're learning right now. Like, this is good for people that don't understand, but... Oh, look. Fate, sorry. We're going to go here. I got bad I don't care what's going on. Rachel, if I had peepers like yours, that would be oh so lovely. Peepers. Jeez, that's the best they can come up with. Anyway, jeepers creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Anyway, what I was saying is, it's good that it walks us through sometimes, but we can figure this out. This is not an overly complex game. I don't need it to walk me through every little detail. So we'll see if this continues, or if this is still like its tutorial section. Oh, thank you for telling me that. I was scared of these beds. Let's read this sign. But it's covered in dust and legible. <laughs> oh, how dare that be? He has a large fixation on my eyes. Hmm. Just a regular Joe's psychological gripe, that's all. What? Oh, no, I got a bad eye. All these things about eyes. He wants the, my eyeballs. Oh, yep. Back to the peepers. Going back to peepers. Peepers are a word for also f small frogs. I grew up with it being slang for penis. I don't know why, but you know what? It's a thing. Okay. So is there like a feather duster around here? That I can do to get rid of all the dust and so that doesn't affect my peepers and so I can read it? Let's go through it. I also started the anime. I think that's what I started to say earlier. But what I want to make sure is that I don't watch past what I've played. And so the part I've played so far was only about half of an episode. The anime itself is well animated and seems like it has, I don't know, some potential because it makes some adjustments and the translation is way better. But apart from that, it still seems to be rather generic to me, like this game. Yep, a little more dusty. Okay, now that I've talked my ear head off, i got to figure out what the heck to do next. Oh, there's a window that's unboarded. Oh, everything has no depth. Rachel, do you know what these markings are? Hmm, maybe it relates to your peepers. Hit patients made these crashes so what's their significance no oh, very good answer rachel you're very astute hmm. 
Come to think of it, I have the key that leads to the back. Oh no. So, this entire time, all I needed to do was go up to that window. The key was with me this entire time, but because I had to read that little description, now I have everything. Okay. You know where the key is. You just said you had the key. Oh no, you had the key for the other thing. Ugh, this is the problem, not reading things thoroughly. But again, so there's something there that I have to read that's going to help later on. But I don't like this hand holding. Uh, don't like it. I'm I'm very cynical today. I'm just a grump butt. Okay, let's go get our eyes surgically removed by this freak. Ooh, yes, Rachel. <laughs> Understand scared. Why? <laughs> hey, Rachel. Your peepers. Can I admire them forever? See, this is where he crossed the creepy boundary. Oh, here it is. He exposes himself. Oh, Rachel, your peepers are so beautiful, but they're stricken with fear, reduced to such a dullness. It saddens me. Show me the true beauty of your eyes. Will awakening from this nightmare restore the beautiful tranquility of the blue moon in your home, my god. Oh, stop calling them peepers. It just it's, don't make it a thing. If I, poke him in the other eye. He'll not be able to find you. Oh no, you gotta run, Rachel. He's after you. He's gonna do sketchy things. I'm glad that he's the kind of calm crazy that's not going after me immediately so that I can just go around here and look at everything. Ooh, device for surgery. You can take out my eyes. Rachel, are you going further? It's dark in that hallway, so be careful. It's so nice. Wait, why are you trying to help me? Rachel, stop that. Alexandrite. Ha. Huh. Okay. We're going to take that clue and get forward. She, He said all those weird things. This, this should not be a thing you're like, oh, let's go with the doctor. He's trying to make me feel better. 13-year-olds know better than that, Rachel. They're all different liquids. Glad they know that. <gasps> Glass eyes are inside. But I want one. <gasps> Ooh, is this like the red and blue pill from Matrix? Let's go green then. Got a green glass eye. Must be a case of culture for them. These are eyes. They're all blue. Like my eyes. That's bad. So I have this green eye. Is Alexandrite red? Well, nope. I can only take the green eye. Let's see how this has consequences to my later decisions. Hello. Here I have an eye. Green, I see. Oh. Oh, no. Dr. Danny, my therapist. No, you want blue. Alexandrite. It's something from like Steven Universe that I don't really remember. You're going to take the blue one and then you're going to screw up Solomon and have to go back and take the red one to get through the door. To make this puzzle not relevant. Ha ha ha, Rachel, is this for me? Oh, that's so. Oh. Yep. I needed the red one. I knew Alexandrite was a red one. I assume so. Yep, we're going to take the red one. Give him a red eye, signifying evil, because that's all eyes we want. Rachel. Oh, you fancy all colors. I was, no, that was the last color I had. What? Oh, no, he means all eyes. Uh, so I was meant to fail. <laughs> Dude, it's been in your pocket all along twice. He already has an eye in there. 
it's just kind of colorless. Okay, well, let's get to it. This was locked. No. No, brown. Blue. Um, green. This is red. Yeah. Where was the locked thing? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh. There we go. Here. See, I didn't need to go to my inventory for that. Glass eyes inside. Ew. That's kind of gross. Well, that fits him. Him and his peeper fetish. Yes, I did. Oh, good job. Why? What were you looking for over there, then? Like, uh, I don't recall. Two eyes. Uh, oh, I'm awake. Let's see her. Let's see. I want to see you wear it. Rachel, yes. I love you. Thank you, Rachel. Can you go? Sure. This is your chance to... R oh, well, I was going to say run, but now you told me I can't, so... Kind of stuck, I guess? Hmm. Maybe you need to find a box, Rachel. That helped you last. Yep. Hmm. No, it's not safe. You need to run. We're getting out of here. Oh no. Doctor. Okay, you're finally getting a hold of this. Hmm. Rachel, if I had to guess correctly, I imagine that his key is in his pocket. No, but we found a crowbar. That's kind of gnarly considering you pick, couldn't pick up a, sh a shovel earlier, but we'll take it. loud, don't you think? Well, it's a good thing that the doctor's not only blind, but deaf. We'll see. Yeah, you can do it. Oh, good job. Oh, no. Doctor. I don't know what that picture was. I, I, uh, in the bathroom. Yes, you did. No. Oh. Oh, he's getting angry at me. His face is not being shown. Oh, my living peepers. Well, that was just a, that was an awful cliche. <laughs> what kind of eye is that? Oh. Well, that was fun. That was fast. That's Christmas colors. Never. Never. Oh, no. You know what? If I had to guess, this is when Zack shows up. Oh, oh no. You're going to take my eyes again. Stop looking so angry with your carrot eyes. Oh no. I, I had to admit that's a weird stylistic choice. Especially choosing red green. Reminds me of Christmas more than anything. He's the Christmas eyes. Thank you. Haven't you learned that synonyms are good for writing? Come on. Rachel. They're there. Oh no, that means my parents are dead. Uh, oh no, his tongue stuck out. No. What the heck? No. It's rather abrupt. Okay, this is just weird on my eyes. Very staticky. Oh no. Rachel, Rachel. That's a cliche in anime that I don't quite like. That the villains always lick their lips. It's like a thing they have to do. There we go. Oh no, you killed Danny. Jeez, you've come to save me. What? You're trying to help me now? Nope. Am I gonna move? Nope, I've lost all hope. This confuses Jack the Ripper. I mean, Zack the Ripper. Oh. 
How disappointing. Oh, look at just the apathy in her eyes. She's hit puberty. Hmm. No, that's not what male adults do. Oh, no. You broke the rules, dude. How dare you break the rules? <gasps> I called it. Let's take the fifth floor's master. This is a violation of the rules. <laughs> you screwed yourself over, Zack. You're in it with me now. I bet this is how episode one concludes in the anime. Hey, language. Yes, get out of here, Zack. I'll follow you soon. With my ellipses. Oh. That's just sad. Rachel, you gotta have a change of perspective on life. Optimism, not cynicism. There you go. Oh, his peepers are gone. Well, let's go back to all the areas we... Oh, well, maybe. We'll see. Camera shake. Oh, you broke through it. What the hell, dude? I want to go dust that thing. Let's go dust it. Yes, that's what we're going to do. And... Hmm. No, your friends died. So I'll be killed. They'll kill me like that's a natural thing. Huh. Rachel, did you do something inappropriate? You probably killed your parents. That's not the right thing to do. That's a bed. We'll learn about this all. Like, this is intriguing, a lot of this aspect. So, I appreciate that, at least. Hello. <laughs> you know, that's... Yeah, not gonna work. Let's work together, Zach. Let's be friends. I, I'm the girl you try to kill. Oh, jeez. Did you just cut my face? Huh. Yeah, that was my response. Oh, there it is. There's the please kill me part. We were waiting for that. <gasps> he doesn't like that. Oh, God. He threw up. Dude, that little bit of an overreaction. Crazy. What? This is a little over the top, Zach. Like, you like killing people. Don't tell me you're a choosing murderer. Pick up the vomit. Pick up the vomit. You want it. Okay. Let's let's work on this together. Yes, you do suck at it big time. Talk like a little kid. <gasps> Maybe he has keys on him. That's it. He had a bunch of keys in his pocket last time. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I'm a genius. See, they didn't walk my hand through that time. Maybe they'll let me do things now. Oh, no. Huh? Yeah. All I know is he's alive, and I only saw one part of his multicolored eye. Let's go for this. It's opening this door. Yes, I have to use my inventory this time. Let's go. Okay, let's have an epic battle between Danny and Zack. Yes, press the switch. You don't want to hold off. Works off. Oh, she's so sad looking. You with your downtrodden eyes. Lift them up. Lift them up and look into the future with hope. We'll make Zack happy and he'll kill you and everything will be happy ending. Or he'll keep vomiting bird shit. We'll see. Yes, that was me. I'll help you, Zach. Y yes, that's what I said. Yep, that, that sure did. <laughs> Jeez, you gotta improve your self-esteem, Zach. The goddamned stupid grin. Okay. Oh, hi. 
You don't don't show that face again. I don't prefer that. <gasps> well, that face is being shown again. This is how the game goes. We shall now see his face through every dialogue box. Isaac Foster. Why does everyone have like a nickname? Can you just go by your names? Pick it up. Pick it up. Yes. <laughs> no fucking around and no prancing all merry like. Oh, I see what it is. Now, you remind me a lot of the angry people during high school. Like, dude, chill. We are compassionate people. We can work this out. Antidepressants are a wondrous thing. Oh, floor B4. So Danny's probably going to break the rules too. And then this is all going to be bad. Well, of course we're on that B4, dude. I like it. We got water now. And something's in the water. Let's look at it. This... He's, ugh. I'll be interested to see how they play his character in the anime. He had a fine voice actor, but again, he just seems like the stereotypical villain that laughs maniacally as people suffer. He's the type of person that will take puppies out and kill them individually and laugh as other people gasp. It's not depth, that's just pure evil. And at this point, pure evil is boring. You gotta spice it up a little. And don't spice it up by with teenage angst. Okay. Hmm. It is just a grave. Dude. Oh. That's just inappropriate. <gasps> Something shiny. Get it. Zach, for someone who kills people, you are sure the squeamish type. Well, let's see. Ooh. Take it with you. Use it for later. Oh, how dull. I wish he followed behind me. This could be like Earthbound. Okay. I've got A, S, D. Come on. Yes. Is this the same? Ah. We're just going to make sure that all of them have a name engraved on it. Because even though I will point out that a couch has tight coils, I will not remember the names on any of these. Ooh. Well, now we know they're impure. They wait to be purified, plummeted into depths and buried in the ground. So, the person here is a bad poet. Oh, we gotta go someplace else before that unlocks. Cobwebs and what the place is this? Graveyard 1? This graveyard 2? Okay, just making sure. We gotta have consistency around here. Oh, well, forget Graveyard 1. I didn't even want to see it. No, oh, well, that's locked too. Let's wait for the cutscene. Oh, I have a key. <laughs> okay, maybe I do need hand holding. <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna make our way downtown. Okay, I know that. More key, let's go. So, I stand corrected about being better than this. Ooh. Very descriptive. I understand that you want to get out of here, but you're a killer. You should be able to manage this. Don't be a wuss. A little 13 year old girl is stronger than you. Ooh. Scrap paper. Let's take it. Walk it back at 36. Pod B3. Oh. Okay. Call of Duty. Blood loss from bullet wound. The B4 kiosk person, but it's yet to be found. Piercy lost it. Damn you, Mr. Beckett. Use caution when handling it. Almost lost because it will be included in a tank. Dude, this is not how you have workplace safety. OSHA would have a field day with this place. No, nope. you can say that. I'm just here because I don't know if you kill her or what. Huh. 
dude, like, you're the first level boss. That means you're the worst of them. And you care about that kind of stuff, dude? Cleanliness? Well, you are now known Zack the Sissy Ripper. I think that's what I'll call you. I hope sissy's not derogatory in any way. I don't want to get into any bad stuff. As a YouTube, YouTube slash website person, I am very fearful of being offensive in any way. So even though I'm cussing this video, I don't want to hurt anyone. So, let's see. 26 minutes. This is getting pretty long. Turn to shambles. What a dump. Well, you know, we can call it a day here. We've gone quite a bit of ways, so everyone, thanks for watching, and, well, bye.